Hey guys, the Ramos Online here, and welcome to Ramos Recommends. Today, I am recommending Gorgeist, the evolved form of Pumpkaboo. It evolves through trading and has a gimmick involving its stats in relation to its size. Gorgeist's HP, attack, and speed are all determined by its size. As Gorgeist's size increases, its speed goes down, but its HP and attack go up. The reverse is true the smaller you go. The stats you see on screen are for supersized Gorgeist, the largest one you can find, and the Gorgeist I'm recommending. So first off, you're going to want to find an adamant supersized Gorgeist. You're going to want to train it in HP and attack. You can put the last 6 EVs wherever you want, but I prefer to put them in defense. If you're breeding for your Gorgeist, you're going to want at least 31 IVs in HP, attack and defense. Special defense and speed help, but it isn't required. What this will leave you with is a very bulky physical attacker who can even put pressure on Aegislash. Gorgeist gets three abilities. Its two normal abilities are Pick Up and Frisk. Frisk is the one I prefer to use. Pick Up has no competitive use at all. Its hidden ability is Insomnia, which prevents it from falling asleep. This can work well if you face teams that use things like Dark Void and Hypnosis, but if all you really face are Spore users, you are immune to Spore, so there's no point in having that ability. There's a few different items you can go for with your hold item. I use the Citrus Berry, mainly because I have someone else using Leftovers, but I also prefer that boost in health you get when you reach 50%. Leftovers is an option, but I feel Citrus Berry gives you a lot more HP. If you're worried about how much damage you're dealing, you can always give it a Choice Band or a Life Orb to help boost this. If tanking is your main worry, give it an Assault Vest and you'll be surprised at how well it can take a hit. You can also give it a choice scarf to help make up for its low speed. Gorgeist does sort of suffer from Flareon Syndrome, where it doesn't have the best physical move pool, but it does have moves to work with. Your strongest stab physical move will be Phantom Force. It's a two turn attack with a base power of 90. What sets it apart from other two turn attacks like Fly and Dig is that Phantom Force breaks through Protect and King's Shield. This allows Gorgeist to really put the pressure on Pokemon like Aegislash who rely on King's Shield or Protect. If you want more stab, you can go for Seed Bomb which really helps take care of rock, ground and water type threats. If you're worried about Gorgeist's slow speed, you can give it Flame Charge. It helps it counter grass types that might try to wall it, or ice types that might try to attack its weaker special defense. Thief works really well with Frisk and a consumable item. It allows you to steal the enemy's hold item and use it for yourself, which can be devastating if they're using an item that Gorgeist can make good use of. Gorgeist also gets access to Rock Slide, however because it isn't stab and doesn't have perfect accuracy, I wouldn't recommend it. If you know Gorgeist is about to faint, a good move to use is Explosion. The enemy won't see it coming, and due to that high attack stat, it will really leave a mark on even the bulkiest of Pokemon. Gorgeist's other stab ghost move is Shadow Sneak, the priority move. It might have a low base power, but due to being priority, it can really screw over an opponent who's already low on health. It also helps completely destroy Pokemon like Focus Sash Gengar, who rely on getting off that fast destiny bond. Gorgeist also gets access to Will-O-Wisp, which is really good for taking care of Pokemon like Swords Dance Scizor and Dragon Dance Dragonite, which require a setup before they can become a big physical threat. Gorgeist can also use the egg move Destiny Bond, which is really good if you know that Gorgeist is going to be fainting pretty soon, as it ensures that the enemy Pokemon will faint with it. When switching Gorgeist in, keep in mind that it takes double damage from Fire, Ice, Flying, Ghost and Dark, Resists water, electric, grass and ground, and doesn't take any damage at all from normal and fighting type moves. Now, not a lot of people seem to realise that Ghost resists poison, so you will take neutral damage from a poison type attack. I see a lot of people trying to sludge bomb or gunk shot my Gorgeist, only to find that it isn't super effective and I get the KO. So I just thought I'd point out, if you see a Gorgeist, do not bother with a poison type move if you have something else that can hit it. There you have it guys, that is my bulky Gorgeist guide. If you like what you saw, then remember to like, favour and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I will be pumping out a few more, such as Floor Giz, 
Paragli and Neuvern, so keep your eyes I yeah, keep your eyes out for those. There we are, I said it that time. And I am talking over a battle video, so I will not do that. So enjoy Gorgeist being an awesome Pokemon and sweeping. Thanks for watching.